Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Aeolus coming back again with some more gameplay videos. So first and foremost, let me go over some, uh, some technical news about my channel. So um, after receiving some feedback from uh, my previous videos, I realized that I had my threshold set way too high for my uh, mic. Therefore, you sometimes hear my voice cutting out uh, mid-sentence or somewhere through the sentence. Parts of the sentence where, or parts of my speech where my uh, the volume of my voice would be low. So I uh, changed my threshold a little bit lower just so I could um just so I could you know get my full speech out of the way. Um, the only downside to that is that you'll probably be hearing a lot of button mashing again, but um, that's just one of the sacrifices. Um, other than that, uh, um, the frequency of where I've been uh, recording videos and putting on YouTube has been diminished lately. Uh, I've got slightly busy, but never mind that. I will still continue to uh, dish out more videos further, uh, you know, further in my, uh, I guess, YouTube career. Um, and I'll keep you guys up to date with um, whatever goes on what, up to, as of to why, um, you know, I can't upload. Anyways, um, for the second thing, so as you can see, I'm playing... Um, a new game recently came out called the Darwin Project, or just Darwin Project, I don't know. But yeah, Darwin Project. Um, and it's a pretty much a survival game. It looks a lot like Fortnite to me, but I don't think it's the same developers. But um, it's basically a Fortnite PUBG type game where it's, uh, it's mostly about survival. Um, I'll just get right into it so you guys can see. This is my hands-on impression, uh, first impression of playing the game. For, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I remember seeing this game. I can't remember if it was, um, last year's E3 or if it was the Xbox One reveal where they showed this, uh, game as an indie and it looked pretty interesting. Um, it, yeah, it just looked pretty interesting. It was like, um, basically inmates, uh, I guess they go free if they survive, uh, survive this uh, kind of game. I don't know. But it's, it's, that's basically the premise of it. You're an inmate trying to like get free, I think. And the only way to get free is to be the last one standing out of the ten other inmates or nine other inmates within the uh, map. So yeah, um, customize my crafting wheel. So let me see what I got. That's, oh shit! Oh, I don't think I don't think damage here. Thank God. But um, let me see. So I'll just leave it alone for now, just because I don't know what um. What everything does. As far as the combat goes, um, from the videos I've seen about it before, I know it's pretty simple. Um, as you can see, I have an arrow on my back. You know, take a shot, hit people with it, I guess. And then I also have this axe that I can just swing around and hit people. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, that bar you see on the right side of my uh, crosshair is basically my stamina bar, I suppose. It decreases when I jump and when I run. So yeah, that's that. All right. I don't really got much else to say. I'll just wait until the game starts, see how that goes. Damn, I, why can't we just start with nine? Oh, he tried to hit me with that. Damn. Oh, shoot. I got him with it. I should have given my inmates some regular hair, I don't know. Gray or white looking hair looks kind of weird. But everyone seems to be pretty basic. After all, it is a game preview, it just came out. I guess there's just a lot more in the works for it. But yeah. Alright, so we got our 10th player. So the game's about to start. Right. I 
I don't know how to tell who's like a real vet in this game. There's no like a scoring thing next to their names. So this how it is. Basically come out in this map. The bottom left is uh, basically a map HUD, I believe. Shows what section I'm in. Um, so I'm collecting wood. So um, as you can see around the HUD as well, that blue bar on the right side, that's um, how warm I am. So you could die from the cold in this game. Let me see. So... I don't really know where to go. I'm gonna just go this way, I suppose. The show director is now activating an electronic. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Shit. Well, oh, there was a there was a bridge right there. Wow. Um, let me see if I can just this way. I can't. Uh, one. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so I could just hold down the left bumper to sprint. So another thing I've noticed about this game, um, I think, so there's 10 survivors and one person who controls it. They call him the director. They're like the god of the game, I suppose, make certain things happen. So others important also. Somebody died already, they fell into lava. There's a chair. A is so once you get enough materials that shows on the bottom right, uh, you basically craft things. So let me see. Runner's cloak, beta boots. Gives me a uh, speed boost. Uh, oh, somebody's tracking me. Who's it? Uh, probably that guy right there. Right, let me, uh, things getting kind of close. Let me see if I could. But there's someone close to me, I just don't know where. I'm hoping I hit him before he hits me. Alright, so you see now the now the cold starting to get to my player. The thing about a fire though, I believe it gives off your location, so Oh, somebody's coming. I heard him. Oh, there he is. The show director is now activating an electronic. Oh, shoot, he's right there. Got him. A new electronic is available. Got him again. Ah. So oh, yes, it's not a hard game. I don't know where the guy went. I hit him off somewhere. Down there? Oh, there he is. Got him. So that's a kill right there. I glue his body. I got enough wood and leather. I have more stuff. Axe sharpening makes my obviously makes me get um deal more damage. Uh let me dip. Hush. Oh, Dude. Oh, it's getting cold again. Oh, there's some stuff right here. Headshot. 
Two headshots, jeez. Uh, so that's the zone I just left. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I see somebody. Got him. Got him. Stop playing. I'm not the guy. Oh shit, the cold, I forgot about that. Hurry up. Oh, thank god, jeez. She's not, the learning curve for the game's not hard. Once you know how to survive, you'll be good. Let me just go down here, get these arrows as well. And arrows. Enough. Grab some more stuff. Alright, cool. on my end, my end. Right, let me go get the electronic we nobody's like tracking it oh matter of fact let me go down here first west zone is now forbidden well first aid kit even though that was a thing i didn't even know that was um an item you could get in this game. That would be super helpful. Alright. If I could get this in the shot before somebody comes and kills me. Oh, almost got it. Bet. Oh, crap. My zone's about to thing. Let me, uh... Get this jump first. Oh, I didn't get it. Come on. So with the power leap, I'll be able to jump out of the zone if anything. Hurry up. Use it now, I guess. Boom. Right, I'm almost out of it. Should be in the clear right about now. Right. Oh, let's see, let's see. Let me change my camera view a little bit. Boom. Right, there we go. Uh. Alright, so that's the end of that zone. Go this way. Is 
that. I've seen that before, I know what it is. A new electronic is available. See? Is that like tracking sense or something? Oh shit, it is. Damn, he's gone. Fuck, they about to milk this side. Am I in the right way? I am. A new electronic is available. Oh god. Oh, I see somebody too. I'm not out of the clear yet. Nuclear missile has landed. Fuck! Oh snap! Ah shit, he got me. Oh shit, he got me. Dang, he got me. Ah, oh, crap. Died. Shoot. Uh. So, yeah, that's how that game plays out. It seems... I like it. It's pretty fun. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really that type of critic that's, like, hard on games. Pretty original. I like the... I like how this idea of survival is a different take than what you'd find in Fortnite and PUBG, where like you're literally just trying to find weapons to kill people. Uh, in this game, you have to build fights to stay warm. You gotta kind of like collect material to um further make yourself more of a threat. So I think it takes a, it has a better take on survival than than PUBG and uh Fortnite. But then again, it's a totally different game, so it's not like you can really compare it. It's the same kind of premise, but um, mechanics makes it totally different. Whereas Fortnite, you could say it's a ripoff or similar to PUBG or vice versa. So now, the only thing I don't like that's, uh, that I like about PUBG and Fortnite is like once you're dead, you can leave. Not, not in this game. You can kind of see how everyone works their shit. And that's the director right there, that little hovering thing. Is it the director or is it just another player looking? Was it three players left? At least I was the fourth one to survive. Oh, so they're about to track this guy. So that's the thing. When you um, when you try to get one of these um, electronics, everyone can see you do it. There's that guy. There's that guy. And then where's the next one? He seems to be going a different way. Wow, three players left. One zone available. It's usually two at this point of the game. A new electronic is available. Oh, he's gonna try to go for that one right there. But everyone can see it. See? See how he sees? That's how it shows on the screen.
That looks like he got to create a fire. Oh, you crafted a camo with it. It's good. Oh, he's got a mad electronics. So that's another big part of the game. Like you also gotta, so you, you know you gotta craft material to like sharpen your weapon, get a cloak to stay warm and stuff like that. But uh, collecting electronics is also a big part because collecting three electronics will allow you to uh, use the three uh, different things he has. So on his bottom screen, he has a shield for why uh teleportion teleportation is his assigned to be and his down button is uh, uh camouflage Gravity is back to Earth level. oh so that's how you track people so now he knows he's being tracked oh but he's got ammo Sudden death. oh snap Now that he's closing in on the other two. A new electronics is available. You can probably see the fire too. Yep, you can see the fire. Right there. Oh, what just happened? Oh, bear trap. Nice. Good wire. Oh. About to hit him while he's taking it. Oh. Oh! oh I thought he died. Oh, he died. Damn. That sucks. Two players remaining. Oh. I see what happened now. Oh, the coal got him. Damn. That sucks. Oh, yeah, that's how that goes. I bet. So other than playing these matches, I don't really know about rewards that you get. Like, play it, start over, play another one. Nothing, nothing too different. Press Y. No, nope, it's just changing. So, my career. Let me see what it shows. So, one time I placed third place. Played three, average rank. Okay. I guess. I mean, long as arrow hit 90 meters. Damn, my accuracy is way down there, though. So I'm going to play another one. I was about to say, I could craft any items. Here. Here now. No. All natural. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm gonna just going to another game. So, imagine. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. I haven't been directed yet. So, let me see how this is being a director. Besides this game, there's another one that there's another uh, game preview type that I want to try out. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Like Galactic Mars or something. It was, an, it was another uh, game that was previewed along with this one back for the Xbox One reveal or the E3 of last year. But it's basically like you're a dwarf, you mine. It looks kind of like um, 
that game for the PS4 called? Uh, no Man's Sky. It looks kind of like No Man's Sky. You're basically a team of dwarves. Um, and you're farming through Mars, digging through tunnels and crap, and then fighting little monsters. It looks kind of stupid and childish like a Nintendo 64 game, but it looks kind of like it'd be addicting. So I want to try that one. I'm going to try the trial version, and then if I like it, I'm going to get it. Get some of that on the channel as well. But um, it seems to be taking a while. This is running a lot longer than I thought. So um, yeah. So if you if you like this gameplay, um, stay tuned for more because I'll definitely be showing more of it. I mean, there's nothing much to it now. It's just a basically play a match or I direct the match. So I'll be I'll be playing some more. Hopefully, I can get a first place or a second place uh rank in some future games. But um, don't forget to like uh this video share it out you don't know you might have a friend who has xbox one who's looking for a new game and might come across this one which is by the way only uh 15 dollars um so share the video and uh subscribe to the channel to see more of this um um and some more gameplay you know i'm, I'm down to show whatever so um, i appreciate you viewing the video and i'll see you guys around